What? Mouth taping? If that doesn't sound like some weird ass fetish, then I don't know what does. And that's exactly what I thought too before. It changed my life. In this video, you first learn why mouth breathing at night is so bad for you, and then I'll cover the proper mouth taping technique to make sure it's as comfortable and as effective as possible. Breathing through your mouth at night will destroy your life. You're going to be breathing dry and cool air that is not filtered by the nose. That will suck moisture out of your airways, causing them to dry up. This will increase inflammation and it will increase the level of mucus production, which is the reason why you're always congested. Mouth breathing is faster and shallower than nasal breathing. Faster and shallower breathing increases the arousal levels of your autonomic nervous system. Higher arousal will stop you from dropping into as deep and restorative sleep states as you could if you were breathing through your nose. When you switch to mouth breathing, the tongue falls back further into the airway, reducing the available airway space. This is going to increase the risk of snoring and obstructive sleep apnea, which will not only destroy your life quality, but will also destroy the life quality of anyone who lives with you. So that is why you should tape your mouth shut if you suspect that you're breathing through your mouth at night. By the way, how do you know if you're breathing through your mouth at night? If you live with someone, that's super easy. You're very likely to snore and therefore you're destroying not only your life quality, but also their life quality and negatively impacting your relationship. I've got some personal experience from that. If you live by yourself, the best way to know that you're breathing through your mouth at night is that if you wake up in the morning with a sore throat, with a dry mouth, or with a stinky breath. These are the hallmark signs that you've been sucking in dry and unmoistened and unfiltered air through your pie hole. Let's cover how to mouth tape correctly. Because let's face it, it's a little bit weird and it takes a little bit of getting used to in the beginning. But if you apply these tips that I'm gonna share with you, your transition is gonna be much smoother and you'll get used to it much quicker. First of all, you're going to need some tape. I use sensitive skin tape by Nexcare. Grab a piece of sensitive skin tape, dry your lips, place your lips softly together. Not like this. If you do that, and then you put the tape on top, that's super uncomfortable. Also, if you're a man, you, the tape is gonna get stuck onto your hairs and it's gonna fall out really, really quickly. So instead you need to be able to relax the muscles of your face and you need to be able to relax your lips, dry lips, and then you're going to place the tape across. Mm -hmm. If you're struggling to fall asleep with the tape because it's uncomfortable, try putting it on five to 10 minutes or even earlier before you actually try to go to bed. So this way you can get used to it before you lie down and you try to take off to the dream islands. Mouth taping is not the only non-invasive way to improve your breathing and your sleep quality at night. Other methods that I teach in the Breathe Sleep Perform program include breathing exercises that increase your carbon dioxide tolerance and therefore slow down your unconscious breathing, making nasal breathing much more efficient and much easier. And specific strength and conditioning exercises for your tongue, your upper airway muscles, and your facial muscles to improve the appearance of your face and make your upper airway more resilient to airway collapses at nighttime. And if you have any questions or problems on your journey towards improving your breathing, your sleeping, and your life quality, and maybe even your facial aesthetics, then don't hesitate to ask me questions because I'm here for you. I understand how difficult it is to find legitimate information about this stuff from people who actually know what they're talking about, people who've actually used these methods themselves to change their life quality, and not only that, but help other people to also transform their lives. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.